Holy mother of moly. What's up, peeps? Hope we're all doing well. How'd you guys spend your weekend? I, I laugh because I spent my weekend inside the game of Fortnite. I am a grown adult, and on Saturday morning, I had two cups of coffee, and I was loading into Fortnite for the Big Bang event, which came with a lot of announcements. In case you guys missed it, they announced several different things throughout their Big Bang event, which was set to put an end to OG Fortnite, which has already been confirmed coming back next year in 2024 with how successful it was. That makes complete sense. But along with this Big Bang event, I, I, Carpet Wagon, was inside the game with Cran Eater for about 30 minutes to see what went down. And in case you guys missed it, here's a, a bit of a highlight from, from me in the game. Vomit on his sweater already. Mom spaghetti, he's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready to drop bombs. But he keeps on forgetting what he wrote down. The whole crowd never let it go. You only get one shot, do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better lose yourself. And all of that is so much to take in. For one event, which by the way, this peaked, I, I believe last time I checked, at least 11 million players were online for this event, which of course announced the headline Eminem coming into the game. But alongside Eminem, which is a huge announcement in itself, they also announced a collaboration with Lego, which I'm sure is gonna be selling millions and millions of dollars, even though they you know, if you want to talk about someone to be mad about, people are mad about tens in his mouse. People are mad about Pokimane and her cookies. Can we talk about Lego prices? No one complains about that. It just kind of came to my mind. But along with that, they also announced what's going to be called Rocket Racing, a collaboration with another one of their IPs, Rocket League, in the game, which is super freaking cool to see. And so many other things all within one event culminating to 11 plus million players being on their servers and the queue times so long, they had to do the event two or three times over so everyone could see it in game. 
that's how successful Fortnite is. It, it really is, whether you think the event was mid or great or bad or good, whatever it is, Fortnite has changed this game forever and has continued to do things that most other, if any other games, cannot do. And I gotta give them credit because their marketing and how they pull us all back in is fantastic. That is, of course, despite the bad news this year where they had layoffs, a significant number of layoffs, but I hope the future of what they, you know, have in store does help the gaming scene as a whole. So to plan all these announcements inside one big bang event, if you check the Twitch category, it was like 2017, 2018, 2019, all over again. Just to give you some crazy numbers, on Twitch alone, Ninja almost approaching half a million viewers. I believe spread across TikTok and YouTube, he was around 800,000 total viewers. Cypher PK broke 300k on YouTube. Laserbeam on YouTube had almost 900,000 viewers. That is how big this event was. I, I can't really put it into words. I know there's a lot of Fortnite haters out there. That's okay. Hey guys, I frick with all of you, but you got to give credit where it's due. I I don't know how they do it. It's insane. So what did you guys think of the Fortnite Big Bang event? What do you think is going to be next? And for me, I, leave a comment down below because I love talking about this stuff, especially uh, on this channel, is like, what did you guys think was the best part of the announcement? For me, the coolest part was the incorporating of different IPs. We, of course, we have Psyonix, who is now bought, uh, bought out by Epic Games quite some time ago. And you take their two biggest titles, Fortnite and Rocket League, and you put one inside the other. Now, Rocket League people, it's a bit of a sore subject right now, given the fact they're taking away trading, they're changing their game a lot, people feeling maybe neglecting the game and seeing it being transitioned into Fortnite probably isn't a great sight, but it makes me curious for the future of these big devs, these big corps, when you own multiple titles and you can work those titles into one game, for me, that's very cool. Uh, whether you like it or not, that was the most interesting part, and I'm curious where that goes in the future. What do you guys think? Till next time, drink up, water, coffee, caffeine, whatever you need, all right? We'll see you back here sometime soon. Take care of yourselves. And thank you all for subbing and leaving comments. You guys are awesome. Okay, bye.